Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Easy DIY. Um, today I have a plan actually um, to build an IO shield. Now the reason I'm doing this is because um, I recently built a computer um, and the motherboard didn't have the IO shield and I thought you know what I'd go to replace it. I just don't like the imperfection of it. So um, I know you can probably buy IO shield directly off the internet but this particular one Either I get it from abroad and it's going to cost a lot of money and I just want to see if I can build one. And it came down to the fact that I've had this old IO shield I found lying around. I thought I could probably use this in some way. And my IO shield does have a lot more at the back as you can see. This is the printout. And what I did, first of all, I thought I better get a printout of exactly the right size. And most IO shield are standard size anyway. And some of the new motherboard doesn't even come with IO shield. It's literally just built into the motherboard itself. Um, but this is a slightly older version, so this is an old IO shield there and I've literally printed out to match the exact size of the IO shield as you can see. Now then I had to look for the materials, what am I going to use? Um, my, one of the plans is to use this sort of plastic, it's actually from a book binder look. and um, I'm using this as my template for the IO shield. Now plan is, first of all, to Find a way that will fit in nicely at the back of the motherboard and will stay in properly. If you know your motherboard and the case, how it is, um, you've got to have a little ridge. Now you can put just about see it, there's a little ridge right there. Um, and that's where it sort of st stays inside um, the motherboard. Um, so it stays inside the case and it doesn't move around too much. So I've got to somehow do that as well. Now plan is to basically, like, these are the tools I've got right now, I've got this uh, tin cutter thing, I've got a stronger scissors as well, Stanley knife, a double sided tape and a little glue gun that actually, you know those um, glue sticks that it comes with, but that's for later on. First plan is to first of all, is to size it all up, get it all cut and ready. So if you put it on top of it, and I also got some cardboard that I'm going to use so I don't cut the table apart. Be careful of that too. So let's put these things aside. Um, the tin cutter is basically, I'm going to try to attempt to cut these IO shields, but that's for later. First of all, let's get this measured up and cut up to size. So for this, you're going to need a pen. Uh, having looked at it, what I might actually do, instead of cutting it out and then working on it, I might leave it as it is, just make a line on it. So um, I know roughly where the IO shield will be and then at the end I'll cut the end off uh, with the scissors on this plastic. Well, let's get the pen and let's mark it all up. Alright, so we've got the pencil. And all I want to do is Put it on the edge of the IO shield. Maybe make it a bit longer. I think it'll still fit in. I'm going to make this bit slightly wider in case I make a mistake. I can always. So. How? So, as I printed, the reason I printed this out, as you can see, is for where all the marks are going to go. So, it's just trying to measure up and do it, trying to do it from the eye. Back of the mother, um, back of the motherboard and the case, I can now quite easily determine where this is going to be. So I can just put it on top. I said, careful, because I did leave it extra excess to the side. First thing I'm going to do, I'm not going to be able to do. I don't think I can do it as as a like like this. Maybe I could give it a go. If not, I can always go straight across and cut it that way. There we go. That's, that should be enough for that. 
Uh, next bit to do is to work out can I cut these after I've done this cutting bit I'm going to then literally take off as much as I can where I need to and then stick it on using the glue double sided what about I can buy I mean, super glue would be the best option um, but I don't think I've got any super glue in the house I'm afraid a bit unprepared on that bit but you're only doing but well, you're only making what you have available um, the materials that you have available so anyway so I'm going to now go ahead and cut this out see how that works a good Stanley knife I've got some cardboard I've got thick ones so I'm use this I should get a metal ruler it would be easy wouldn't it I'll just get a metal ruler so now I've got the metal ruler, so I don't cut my fingers off, I hope. It looks like from the marking that I've made, they seem to stay. Yeah, sorry about the background noise. We have family and children, which are different. Okay, here we go. So if I can just, well, I'm just actually, I'm just gonna do a quick marking like this. So I know where to cut two. So here we go. So that's done. Oh, this is gonna get hard here. Yeah. Oh, this plastic is really hard. I should be something more, more thinner maybe, but then to go with the hand. I can't hold the loop ruler and do this. So I'm just gonna to be working if I lift it up slightly it seems to cut better Right, this is where I guess these two holes are the same size and I've got this right glue piece for it but this one here is slightly bigger and I'm just hoping it's big enough I did do uh, hmm that's not a good idea okay, if I don't think I've got any if not I'll just use a knife and go around there just a bit more till then Getting centered is the hard bit, I think.
skin dismantled. Too much, it's too much fiddly thing to work with. Okay. I, I'm sorry, but this just wouldn't cut well. I know some people use the machine to cut it with. I don't know the tool, but I'm left with this now. And I'm, uh, I'm gonna go back to my original plan of literally, so it doesn't move places. A thin layer of one of these. I'm just, um, I'll just stick it on top there. Just scissors. Cutting something straight with your scissors is not the best as well. It's a test sample just to see how well I stick this with it. Would I actually need to have that on there to be honest? Because as long as those things sticks out, while the stuff sticks out, it should quite simply stay in place from the force of the um yeah. test run of putting it on so this is the back of my um, motherboard in the case so I put a little wire coming up with this fan I had to put it outside because I couldn't put it inside because it just wasn't enough space for such a small rig so um, here we go so I've got to somehow find a way of getting this in there I've got a plan but there's a little wire here as you can see it stops it so I may not just I might just cut this bit off yeah, and just let it slide in. So that's one option. So I've done the cutting bit, as you can see, just there. Um, it's not being cut. Oh well. So all I need to do now is work away. And I'm going to put this in this way first. And then I'm going to somehow slide the corners in first. There we go. The corners in. That's in. Plan is just to keep going in there. As far as I can go, also there you go, that's in there, that's in there, that's in there. Oh, if I can just get that turned over here, that's the benefit of having a plastic that you can just bend it and do what you want with it. Um, so now, it's all about getting this in like this and then turning around. Side in. What's this? This way. This way. Oh, there we go. Uh huh. I see the bottom. The case. So I'm going to get under the case. Under the case. And voila. Down a bit, push it up a bit. Well, there you go. There's my IO shield in place. Oh, I rather didn't know. I need a screwdriver. Probably this one, I have to do back into its original place. Come on, get in there. It's nicely tucked away. My IO shield is in place though. So now, next thing to do, as soon as I put these sort of stuff in, uh, where is this now? That should be just going. This will stop it moving around anyway. Voila. I actually done. I know there's some gaps, but then if you look at the original one, you will still have gaps. I should have cut, could have cut this a bit more. Could have gone around the edge a bit more. Basically, the holding is placed nicely there. Um, and that's how I did my IO shield. It stays in place. So I'm moving. This back on. I should put this on. Um, 
Job done. Thank you for this. I know it's a bit of a makeshift job there, but I wanted an iron shield. I made myself an iron shield. So, hope you enjoyed watching this, and uh, hopefully you've taken some pointers. And I'm sure somebody out there will find a better way of doing this. Uh, probably much better way of what I've done. Um, but here you go. It does the job. That's the main thing. And once again, thank you very much.